Well, we are here today at Goodwill. Before we head into this Goodwill, I just wanted to point out the fact that yes, I know my nails are chipping. They're they're kind of atrocious right now. Uh, but my nail tech is on vacation and I don't trust anyone else to do my nails because the last time I trusted someone else to do my nails, they filed off my nail beds and it was it was horrifying. Um, <laughs> so I don't trust anyone else. But if my nails are really that distracting, and I know they are distracting for a lot of you because it's all you can comment about um, when they are chipped, maybe this isn't the video for you. But we're gonna head in here for those of you that can stomach my chipped nails and we're gonna see what we can find. Buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. <laughs> We must have arrived just in time because there are quite a few people stocking the shelves. Just checking this over. It has like a split in the bottom and I think it just goes all the way through. So I don't know how um how functional that would be with a crack in it. Even if it is a manufacturer's defect. There's a couple sets of uh I wonder what who makes that. Let's take a peek. Tango. You have them all bagged up separately so you can buy complete sets. What is this stone here? Oh my gosh, that's plastic. <laughs> I expected that to be ceramic. There's a pink glass tray for $3.99. Hmm. I kind of like it, but I can't really tell. I'm not very good with depression glass. It's not really my... Uh, my strong point so I'm not sure if that is older or if it's more modern I might come back to it we'll see what else we can find I wonder if those are yeah those are hobbyist figurines I believe there's, they're very sweet there's a pair of them here <laughs> She's got, she loves her animals looks like they're rearranging I'm not really sure how I feel about having an entire aisle dedicated to frames just don't feel like they're that important but what do i know um <laughs> let's look over here this here is uh avon cape cod little goblets 2.99 each uh, what is this up here yeah oh, that's like a reverse painted glass dish kind of sad <laughs> If you ever donate frames to the Goodwill, you should really take out your photos before you do it because, yeah, <laughs> I just I feel like that's normal to take them out of the. Look, here's another. Who are these people? We may never know. In addition to having an entire aisle dedicated to frames, we have an entire bottom row dedicated to toilet paper. That would have probably come in handy last year around this time. Those are melamine. Mm, the marking is covered up. I really kind of like this pattern on those, but I don't know. They look like saucers that would have had cups, and I don't see any cups. $1.99 each on those. This one's got a chip on it, just like my nails. <laughs> that one's got a big chunk out of it, too. This is a really interesting um, teapot. $3.99. Made uh, in Thailand. It's only $7.99 at TJ Maxx. I think I'm going to grab this. I mean, you think about it, Ray Dunn was sold at TJ Maxx, and that could be worth a lot of money, so who knows? Hmm. R something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really need another mug. I've got enough mugs. She looks like she wants to be Lennox, but she's not. There's a little milk glass down there. What are these? American Limoges. Here is a trinket box that looks to be Westmoreland. $1.99. I almost wonder if the bow was painted after the fact, but check it over and make sure there's no chipping. They always hide the chipping under the tape. That'll be worth it. That's kind of a pretty looking swan. There is a crack here. Let's see, I don't see any markings on it. These sell pretty well for us, these um, birds on wood, <laughs> that's what we'll call them. 
think I will peel that and see if there is a name. Come here, you. No, there's no markings on the bottom. It's $2.99. I think if there wasn't that crack on the wing, I would probably be more inclined to pick it up. Everything. What is this? This is exclusive ND $6.99. I don't know what ND is. This is a little oh Hurricane River Cave. So that was a souvenir piece. This, even though it's wrapped in bubble wrap, looks like one of the geese has decided to venture somewhere else. I like the llama. Italy. There's shipping on it though. So these cups I thought were kind of interesting. Chief of Greystone and they have horses on them. I tried looking them up. Looks like uh, there's no markings on the bottom. I tried looking up Chief of Greystone and all that came up was like Mar Marlboro um, advertising pieces. I'm not sure if there's any correlation. But uh, horses, horse cups might be pretty good. How many are there? Five. So there's a set of five of those. Do you know this is not something I normally pick up for reasons <laughs> that I've mentioned before. It's $4.99. Um, I feel like I'm ready to embrace it though. This is really cute and I love the coloring on it. $4.99. Um, it's made out of chalkware or plaster so... Um, I think I'll rescue it because I just have the suspicion that if it's here for too long, it will start getting chipped and damaged. And I also wanted to check down here and see what we've got going on. I kind of like the pattern on that. Taylor Ironstone Emerald Isle. It's only a single plate and there is a uh, chipping on it, even for only 99 cents. And those are taped together. So see, that has some really heavy silver overlay on it. 99 cents for the pair. I would be concerned that taking the tape off of that would remove the silver. Okay, well I guess we're not going to find much today. I had kind of high hopes when we wandered in and they were um, restocking. I thought maybe that was in the glass, but it's not. I kind of like the looks of that. What is that? Oh my gosh, it's extremely lightweight. Governor's Palace, Williamsburg, Virginia. So it's a print. It's 355 out of 1150. Yeah. Here's some uh, glass bowls. $2.99. I kind of like them, but um, there's no markings or anything. What is this? This is a very Chinese basket. Okay, well, this is all I've got today. I think I'm going to move on to the next Goodwill and see what we can find there. Well, my total spend there at the Mechanicsburg Goodwill was a measly $20. It was $20 even because I rounded up. I am now at the, the Antiques. I don't know why I keep saying that. I'm now at the Goodwill in Lemoyne. And I'm going to head in here and see if I can salvage this shopping trip and see if we can find anything. Um, so let's head in. Okay, well, let us begin. It's been... It's been about a week or two since I was here last. What is this? It's a pet feeder. <laughs> so the blue dog, I thought that was interesting. Um, Alright, let's see what we can find. Here's some Dorothy Thorpe. It looks like somebody had tape on there, maybe a sticker. And it wore off that silver overlay. <laughs> it's funny how all of these things are showing up at the Goodwill now. I remember when they were super popular. There's not much in that then. Hmm. Those are kind of cute. There's a whole bunch of them. I wonder if somebody made them for a craft fair or something. There's some Avon perfumes and colognes. I guess these are mostly colognes. They look like it. What is this down here? Did I look at that the last? I feel like I may have looked at this before. Because I really love that floral pattern. This is a Duck's Cottage mug by McCormick. Carousel figurine. 
That one is Sebastian. Okay, so they make, uh, they also make the clown heads. I've seen those before. I think they're intended to look like Yadros, but they are obviously not. This is $2.99. I like the carousel. I know some carousel figurines you can sell really well. Um, who is it? Um, Bolsla Sibis. So Sibis Porcelain um, also makes carousels, and some of theirs can be worth a ton of money. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll look her up. Looks like she sells for about 20 bucks. Now, if she would have originally had a boy with her, there would be a boy and girl uh, set. So I'm wondering if we walk around long enough if the boy will turn up or if maybe she's all by her lonesome. This hippo is adorable. Oh, it's a mommy and baby hippo. <laughs> that is the cutest. It's $1.99. There's no markings on there. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably made in Taiwan. Um, but I think that's so cute. It's a buck ninety-nine. I mean, I don't think there's a terribly high resale value there, but there is some. And uh, we're gonna stick it in there with our carousel girl. Here's some more crafty things. Crosses. <laughs> to go with those little girl figurines. There's a horse. Hmm. It's interesting that this has a tag on it, and so does that. I almost wonder if somebody maybe cleaned out their antique mall booth and donated the pieces that weren't selling to the Goodwill. Um, how much is it? $2.99? It's probably made in Japan. I've seen these before and I know I've passed on them before. $2.99. Uh, do we need it? No. I think we're going to leave it on the shelf um, and we might come back to it and see what else we can find. Another figurine and oh my goodness it has both of its wings really surprising uh, there is a made in china sticker on the bottom i think this is another that is supposed to be made to look like yadro but it doesn't even just has a mold mark on the bottom 3.99 it's very sweet uh, but i don't know what the resale value on something like that would be at least the sebastian uh, paul i think it's paul sebastian at least that one i know that um you know it's worth a little bit of money Okay, so I'm for some reason being called to the clear section, and it's probably because the last time I was in the clear section, I found all of that candle wick, um, which is, you know, quite valuable. So I figured <laughs> let's just venture over to the clear section and I'll kind of go with my gut. Um, this one is made of metal. I thought maybe it was going to be stangle. Still some candle wick here. These appear to be saucers, though, and I don't think I ever saw the cups. Cross Swords is, um, Severus, maybe, possibly. This is Mormon Temple, Salt Lake City, Utah. Hmm. That has interesting handles. What is that supposed to be? It looks almost like it has a wheel on it. I don't know if that would be EAPG or not. Really bright gold on those. Let's start at the bottom. Made in Japan. Wow. Usually I see that really bright heavy gold and it's Limoges. I like the pattern of those. Who makes these? Table trends. This guy has obviously seen some things in his lifetime. <laughs> $1.99. Um, it's a Christmas thing. That's kind of pretty for a buck ninety-nine, but there's a lot of uh, staining and discoloration on it. But while I was filming that, I noticed this down here. It is Pyrex, but it's just boring white. Six seventy. Hmm. I would say this is probably vintage. It's very heavy weight. Cornucopia vase. I don't see any chips or cracks on it. It's Six ninety-nine though. I would think like 12 to 18 on that. Unless that marking means something important. Mixing bowl looks like it might have some age to it. Maybe not. Just made to look like it. Heirloom <laughs> pantry collection. And there's a whole other bag of those dolls. I figured I'd peek through here real quick. Look the animals. There's some ribbon down at the bottom. These are kind of cute, but I don't know. What are these? Twenty-three. 
Hmm. Wow, the matting job on that um, is leaves much to be desired, I would say. I think those are, uh, well, they're watercolor, but I think they're like Southwest style. It's $1.99, so it's, they're like a buck a piece for the watercolors. And the signature looks like GGN. I don't know. I just sold uh, two watercolors. They were really small little landscapes and they sold for about 30 bucks. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to pick that up. My goodness, that is adorable. What is that even? Obviously, um, it was colored with marker, but I can't tell if it was an original design or just like a piece from a coloring book that somebody colored. <laughs> Kind of fun. Kitty cats. Then down there, I know exactly what that is because I bought one that was similar. Uh, it's Norman Rockwell. <laughs> they usually have pretty decent artwork here, so I like to at least see what they've got. Like this over here. This is ancient, ancient. Um, drawings on papyrus I think just kidding I'm kind of really tempted to buy this <laughs> where am I gonna put it what am I gonna do with it oh my gosh I just bought that veterinary print um, from the Middletown Goodwill and it had the cats and dogs on it and I thought this would like be a nice compliment the frame is a little bit more plain but it does have kittens on it you know what I'll get that for Juliet's room maybe there is a fancy shell lady. She doesn't look as old as a lot of the ones I come across, though. She doesn't have a price on her either. There are just a few aisles that I haven't looked through yet. Um, there is someone restocking, but um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be hanging out here. I kind of like this little dish for a buck ninety-nine. Looks to be vintage. Oh, it's marked on there. It says Sandy. Pumpkins. Okay. It looks like it could be hardcore. There's no markings on it. What is this? Made in China. Kind of pretty. What is that made of? That's made out of copper. It's $2.99. Hmm. It's a tulip. Looks like a candlestick holder. $2.99, I wonder. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I like that. I have to get a closer look at this guy. <laughs> when I saw him earlier, I just kind of half saw him. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't think he was old, and uh, now, judging by the bottom, I would say. I was probably right in that assumption. Here is a Hershey's Paperweight. A kiss for you. <laughs> It's a vintage graphic. I don't know if the paperweight itself is vintage. Uh, it's $2.99. We're not very far from Hershey, so I come across the Hershey stuff quite often. And I kind of like that. There's no markings on that. <laughs> There's a really cute little girl running by. Hi! <laughs> She's adorable. <laughs> Check these out. It's really funny. The little girl was like bawling in the cart and so her mom finally left her out and she just ran straight down the aisle towards this giant pink teddy bear. I have an umbrella shape. Oh, I love these. They're plastic. Here's a bit of treasure crafts, but um, the, the shakers are, <laughs> are gone. I think I actually have the Hawaii uh, salt and pepper shakers at the shop. Uh, they have a chip on them though, so... Oh, this is funny. I know exactly where this came from. <laughs> uh, if you look at the sticker, it looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh, these are the same stickers that Andrew and I use um, for Carlisle Antique Mall. So that's where this came from. That's funny. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> that is the cutest. $2.99. I'm going to take it out. Oh my goodness. And it even has googly eyes. <laughs> Please feed the bird daily. Two ninety nine. It's to have that sign on it, though. <laughs> I think I have to pick that up. 
are these? Oh, those are interesting. They're Napco Full Sail. Oh, they're wall plaques. $2.99, so they're a buck fifty each. I'm kind of curious if the back one looks exactly the same as the front one or if they're a coordinating pair. I think I'll grab those. Also interesting, that looks like it could be a folk art of some sort. Although I'm kind of leaning towards like a more modern primitive decor. My total spend here at this Goodwill was $23. So total spend for the day was like $43. I think we did pretty good. Um, <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, I'm most excited about that bank with the googly-eyed parrot on the inside. I think that was really cool. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here now though. I'm gonna head on down the road and I think I'm going to visit Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne because it's only 340 and I feel like I've got more time to do some shopping today. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow or in a few days with that video. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.